What's happening guys? Cowboy here and we are back getting kicked off with the saviors. So after going through and selling everything I had, you know, cycling out all those guns, I had about 36,000 total. So we're not going to be using the cork machete anymore just because, you know, it's like you use it and then when the durability hits zero, it's done. Um, we bought a hunter's machete, which is pretty good. And then we used the, the bolter poison to upgrade it, which is the most toxic poison weapon in the history of Haran. So it should be pretty cool. Um, additionally, uh, even though I can't actually, let me see if I can show you the upgrades. Yeah, we got King in there, which added two to everything. Uh, Berserker, which added into the damage and durability, and then the Templar when we hand, which added into the handling and durability. So, all in all, it's a pretty damn awesome weapon now. I mean, it's at 352 damage in comparison to the cork machete. You can see the damage is certainly lower than the coric. Um, our durability is a lot higher. Obviously we have five different repairs with this so it's going to last a hell of a lot longer. And the handling's a lot less but I'm curious to see how effective the toxic is on it. Um, as for the splitting axe I also put the impact modifier on that and it, I mean it, it's even less damage than the machete which kind of sucks because it's a two-handed weapon but I still think it'll be fun to hit people in the face with an axe. And of course we're running the pistol and the police rifle. Um, UV light, firecrackers. Actually, you know what? Let me just let me just take off the fucking firecrackers because I never use those damn things anymore. Let's put dynamite in place of those. There we go. And then our exploding throwing star, and then the grappling hook. So I'm really excited to get to try the grappling hook here. If I can uh, not fall to to the water. Oh, you're back up. Oh, I haven't had gotten a chance to use the grappling hook at all yet, so... Some... Ow, oh my god, go away. Um, I'm guessing it works in a fashion similar to that of... Uh, so is it right trigger? Yep, works just like the... When you're a zombie in multiplayer. Which I gotta say, now that I have the grappling hook, I'd be quite interested to see what it's like going after zombies in the multiplayer, because I could probably shit all over zombies. Like, you know, the... You know, well, for those confused in multiplayer, you play as a zombie, of course, and part of the badass of that is that you can just basically get up on top of anything as long as you don't fuck it up terribly, like I am right now. You're supposed to do that and then climb. Um, there's a, an undead somewhere. i to save this asshole real fast. Where's this undead at? Inside. All right, buddy, come on down. It's fine. Come on, come on. There you go. Give me the reward. Pay up. I saved dress. Pay up. Night. What does night do? I can't replace anything. Well, let's see what it would have done anyway. Knight would have done two durability and one into handling. Okay, so that's not really needed here at all. Though it might be something worthwhile to look into if I want to make another cork machete. Let's see what this axe can do with the impact modifier. <laughs> head for you. Yeah, that's it's way too, uh... <laughs> that was funny, at least. Whatever, it'll get replaced soon enough. We'll probably, um, put on something. I don't know, some kind of electric. Or I might put a, put a fire modifier on it if I can find a, a good fire one. Do you remember that girl from Sector Zero? Troy? Yeah, she called to thank me after I got the antenna towers working. You should contact her when you get there. Well, good idea. Thanks, Brecken. Right. You take care. Damn it. Can't grip up on that. Gotta say, having the grappling hook is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Except apparently I'm not all that adept in using it yet. 
Recharge is a, well, it's moderate, I guess. Figure it's not the same as playing as a zombie where you can just zip around. Fuck! We've got the runner here. Get him. We clear. Yes, boss. I found booze. Hey. your hands for you. Highlander hatchet. I mean, it's all green quality stuff, so it's not like we're going to really hang on to this stuff for too long, but... Where are we going, anyway? Let's take a look at the map. Oh, it's not that far. Why is this considered, like, an area that no one can get into? This doesn't look like it's, uh... All that hard to get into at all. Is this a zip line that I can use? Yes, it is. Oh, I thought it was going to go farther than that. Never. I'm like a fucking acrobat on this thing. No free running needed. I'll take this super awesome shortcut. Perfect rolls. You're dead. What do you want? I'm looking for the saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Brecken's men from the tower. I don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through, Jade. I think you better get the hell out of here. No, just listen. I cut Rise up and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah, and now I have to get to Sector Zero. What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. We're not worried about his shit list. I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. You? Are you sure? Oh, okay. Right. Come here. Okay, we'll get you to the other side. Right, when? Right now. And what about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you. I don't know. Part of me feels like this is a trap, but I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? <laughs> Not expect that to happen. Damn that zombie vault. I suppose they cut those zombies, but at the very least, it'll slow them down. Now you're fucked up. You hear me? You're <laughs> 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 Fucked myself up a good bit there, but I think that was worth it. Killed those dicks. 
Oh, I also killed whoever they were holding up as well. I mean, it just seemed like it was too good of an opportunity to pass, you know? <laughs> Where is this place at? Feels weird running around with a gun out. I'm curious to see what this machete can do. I like this. This thing is just taking fucking heads clean off. Actually, you know what? Let me just get rid of this fucking, uh, this axe. Hatchets. Hatchets are cool, right? What the hell? <laughs> Damn it. Pick this real fast while I'm here. What the fuck? What was that? What the hell was that? I just died. The car didn't blow up. Something just like. It was like a squishy sound. And that was it. What crock of shit that was. I was there too. Son of a bitch. How far out am I now? I'm like there still. Just meet him in the tunnel. I'm guessing the tunnel is up above as well. <laughs> well, this is what we did before. I just gotta do the same thing pretty much, but not overshoot the jump this time. I don't know how I blew up, man. I just wanted to... I'd already found the, the right lockpick spot and everything. Oh no, so this is the right spot. anything. I'm so curious what killed me last time. <laughs> Isn't 
Isn't that what I have now? Highlander hatchet? But a much better version of the Highlander hatchet. Aha! How does that look? Yeah, I like this. Might as well get some med kits while we're here. Never have too many med kits. At first, Jenk was reluctant to even talk to me, but after I mentioned what I did to Rice, and the Saviors decided to give me a hand. They helped me get to Sector Zero. <laughs> There's what I can turn this into. What can I do with a hatchet? I can make a stinky edge, which seems a little bit unnecessary. I could make surprise, motherfuckers. That'd be good. Bad hangover. Bleeding and toxic versus electricity and toxic. I mean, I already have a really good toxic weapon, though. That's the thing. You know, I don't really want toxic. Um, I can make bad hangover now. Any toxic lichen for you? Why not? Let's do it. Tier 2 toxic, tier 1 bleeding. 